Hey everybody, it's story time. I'm going to tell you about the time that I was contacted by Donald Trump's attorneys and they uh, threatened to sue me. So obviously right now Donald Trump is the Republican nominee for president. But back in 2012, he was also talking about running for president. And um, back in 2012, I was also making iPhone apps for a living. I was just, um, had my own small little business where I was developing, developing iPhone apps and um, just selling them in the app store. And I made a big variety of apps. Um, you know, I made the apps about a lot of different popular topics. And uh, one of them I made was called Donald Trump. And it was a simple little game where um, money fell from the top of the screen to the bottom. And then you controlled Donald Trump's head back and forth. And you had to collect the money that was falling. Because he's known for loving money. And um, so that was the simple little game I made. It took me like a day to make. And um, sold it for a dollar. And uh, so it was in there for several weeks. I think it sold maybe 100 copies or so. It wasn't even really that popular at all. But then <laughs> one day... I got this phone call from this guy, Michael Cohen, and he said he was uh, Donald Trump's attorney, or one of, one of his attorneys, I guess. I guess he has many of them. And um, I was kind of shocked. I was like, at first I was just wondering, how did this guy get my phone number? Um, so it turns out he used the Who Is information on my website to look up my phone number. and Because uh, I've been contacted about other apps um, around that time to, to cease and desist. But they usually just send me emails. This is the first time I had uh, an attorney actually <laughs> contact me through the phone. And, um, you know, he sounded really mad on the phone. He's like, why did you make this app? You don't have our permission to use Donald Trump's image. He's like, you have to take this down immediately. He just, he just sounded, like, really pissed off. Um, so I don't, I don't know if Donald Trump found out about it personally, then asked his attorney to contact me. Probably not. It was probably just... Um, his team of people found it or something, and then they contacted me to take it down. And um, so I took it down. The only evidence I have of this whole um, phone call is an email I sent to them after the phone call confirming that it was taken down. And Michael Cohen is now part of his political team. Um, I've seen him on the news a couple times. I guess he's sort of a political advisor now. And an interesting thing is, if you look up Donald Trump in the App Store now, like at the time, in 2012, I had the only Donald Trump app. But now if you look him up, there's dozens of them, you know. Um, they all use his image. So there's dozens of them now. So in the phone call, they said, I didn't have permission to use his image. Um, I kind of think... I used it under fair use, um, you know, maybe for parody or something like that. But obviously, I can't afford lawyers as good as his, um, so I just decided to take it out of the app store and you know just end it like that. And it was only selling you know a couple hundred copies, so it wasn't even worth the cost of any kind of legal fees, so I just took it out of the app store. And, um, yep, that's my uh, little story about Donald Trump threatening to sue me. You know, his, um, his attorney sounded really pissed off at first. And then, like, I don't, I don't really care about Donald Trump one way or the other. Um, but on the phone call, I, swore, I started saying stuff like, I'm a big fan of Donald Trump. And then, like, I was like, I just made this to, um, show everyone how much I respect him, and stuff like that. And so after I started saying stuff like that on the phone, uh, the, the, the Michael Cohen guy started, like, like, being less angry. He's like, oh, okay, I guess, um, we still need to take it down, though. And, uh, he's like, we're, we're gonna, you know, pursue legal action if you don't take down this app. So... Yeah, I just think that's uh, kind of interesting because now he's in the news all the time. And, um, yep, that's my little story. Thanks for watching.